Hi students, hope you are all doing good. So to welcome to today's uh, Brainiac's capsule. So today we are going to discuss one of the important concept of alkenes or one of the important reactions of alkenes and it is known by the name ozonolysis. Okay, so I can say this is one of the characteristic reaction which is given by alkenes and alkynes can also undergo or unsaturated compounds mainly. So in we need to learn mainly on alkenes in our syllabus okay now how what is fundamentally ozonolysis it is addition of ozone to the unsaturated alkene fundamentally so let's read the question first then we will see in detail what is the concept so which of the compounds okay with the molecular formula c5h10 yield acetone on ozonolysis so they are asking you if you do ozonolysis of any of these four compound okay you are going to get acetone and they are telling the molecular formula of this particular compound okay is c5h10 okay so how to do this question so first of all we think about what is ozonolysis that is mentioned in ncrt directly okay so what ncrt states simply is ozonolysis of alkene it involves as i told addition reaction it is addition of ozone molecules to the alkene to form an intermediate product that is called ozonide okay then what will happen the cleavage of the ozonide will occur using zinc and water to smaller molecules this reaction why it is used that is very very important actually so that's why i may say mark this area this is very very important this reaction is highly useful in detecting the position of the double bond in alkene it is highly useful in detecting where the double bond position is in an alkene or other unsaturated compounds so very important in an exam if they are asking a question like which among the following technique is used to detect the position of uh, pi bond or position of double bond in an alkene is ozonolysis but test for unsaturation is there is something other we have bromine water test and other test is there but if you want to clearly find out the position of double bond in an alkene we may say we need to go for ozonolysis now we will see normal classical method of doing ozonolysis and i will also explain the trick to do the ozonolysis very fast okay yeah so i have taken one example for you first we will do some examples then we'll go to the options given in the question so here the first example i have taken here is you can see here propene i have taken prop one in so when i am doing ozonolysis what is fundamentally happening the three ox oxygen atoms are getting added to the double bond so what will happen during the process i can easily say i can easily say here i need to uh, put one thing yeah let me say here there is uh, no single bond is present okay now here listen so what is happening here the oxygen molecule will get added to both carbon uh, you can see here oxygen molecule will get added to both ox carbon atom and another two oxygen molecules will also added to the same carbon atom so you are getting a house like structure you can remember it like that during the process the two double uh, two bond that is sigma bond and pi bond over here disappears and you are getting an oxygen that is common between two carbon atoms and one separate oxygen atom for the two carbon atoms like this so this compound is called my ozonide so if it is propene i am taking i will call this compound as propene ozonide clear now what they are doing they are going to listen they are going to break this compound with a reducing agent a strong reducing agent zinc and water so again here you need to remember there is uh, no 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 bond here between carbon and carbon that is already gone okay now what is happening here you can see with zinc and water what it will do it will break the bond here one co bond will be broken and another o, o bond will be broken here here also one co bond will be broken and another one here so what you are getting fundamentally ch3 cho ch3 cho because all these things will become one compound and listen and another these things will become another compound okay you can ignore this oxygen so this is how you are getting the product i hope clear now the similar thing i will explain you in a shortcut trick 
this you can apply it in your neat exam very simple what you need to do whenever you are doing osmolysis if you you know it across it happens across a pi bond or unsaturation uh, across the unsaturation so here carbon carbon pi bond is present between here and here so here only addition occurs what you need to do you just break the pi bond and the sigma bond over here completely remove this so that means breaking and distribute oxygen on both sides like this so you will get the compound very fast ch3 cho you got and the other one is h c h o another one also you got understood so this is how you can easily do it okay now we will take we will read our question now in the question what they are asking is which compound which of the compounds with the molecular formula c5 h10 yield acetone on osmolysis now we will take each option one by one and see whether you are getting acetone or not so one is 3 methyl butanone from this itself you can understand one thing if you break it here put oxygen here here and here you can see ch uh, ch3 ch ch3 cho it is not acetone this is hcho that is formaldehyde you can see here correct you can see here so these are the compounds you are getting here this is one and this is one they are not acetone so i can leave option one a now if you go to option b you can see cyclopentene is given again if you are if it is a cyclic compound also you need to follow the same thing break the double bond completely put the oxygen on both sides then what will happen here this is a carbon atom with one hydrogen atom and an oxygen is added here so what will happen one will become cho here also you can see a carbon atom with the hydrogen atom to that you are adding double bonded oxygen atom because if you are adding oxygen it should be always have double bond so you can see again a cho here so this is also not acetone this is a dial correct aldehyde so two aldehyde groups are connected now we'll go to the third option that is two methyl but one in okay so if you see here two methyl but one in you can do again you can see from just writing the compound itself you can see when you are doing osmolysis put oxygen here oxygen here here you are getting you can see here hcho you are getting the other one is a ketone but it is not acetone why because one is an ethyl group and other is a methyl group okay now we will go to the last option that is 2 methyl butetoin so here when you are doing 2 methyl 1 2 3 4 2 methyl butetoin so here if you are doing osmolysis oxygen comes here and oxygen comes here now you can see one you are getting acetaldehyde ch3 cho and the other one you can see when oxygen is coming here double bond o comes that is nothing but our acetone ch3 co ch3 clear I hope right now you got the answer. So what is the answer for this question, sir? Tell me, sir. So acetone can be obtained with which option? Option. Option. Tell me. Option 4 would be my correct answer. Okay. Any doubt? So I hope from now onwards, uh, osmolysis would be very easy for you. Okay. Now let's see some of the other important uh, osmolysis process. I have added some more examples, uh, maybe uh, to excite you. Yeah, here you can see one osmolysis. So here you can see a cyclic compound with two pi bonds here, two unsaturation position. So minimum two ozone molecules are required. Let us say there are two ozone molecules minimum. So here breaking happens, oxygen will come here, oxygen will come here. Here also breaking happens, oxygen will come here, oxygen will come here. Now you think here, here this is a carbon atom with one hydrogen atom and to that oxygen is added and this is connected to another carbon atom. Here also double bond O is added with Y hydrogen atom. So I can say this product CHO and here also CHO will come. You can say this many things are one half, one product, this many thing. So this many thing means carbon with a double bond O and this is connected to another carbon with a double bond O along with the hydrogen atom is present here already four valencies okay so some some students may have a doubt here so what you they need to do they can put here hydrogen then easily they can say sir I am getting the answer very easily everywhere you put one hydrogen you can easily then get the answer very fast 
if they are given cyclic compound otherwise students may get a doubts or how to form the compound you put the hydrogen everywhere it is missing now you put, uh, divide it and put uh, your i can say your oxygen you will get it easily your product okay because four valencies are there normally hydrogen valency they will not show in the compound clear so this compound is called cho single bond cho is called glyoxal glyoxal so two moles of glyoxal are obtained if you use cyclobut 1 comma 3 diene okay now what is a, a typical question or typical doubt sir what will happen if benzene undergoes osmolysis you can do the similar thing you can do the similar thing so my sincere request is you can put hydrogen everywhere wherever you need and uh, not wherever c6h6 so you put the hydrogen then you don't get a confusion okay you put the hydrogen like this then perform osmolysis that will make your life little bit easy now what you need to do tell me sir three moles of ozone are required three moles are required three moles are required now i can easily say here break one double bond put oxygen across both here also break double bond put oxygen on across both here also break double bond oxygen across those now i can say this is broken this is now gone and this is now gone so this much is one part this much is one part so that means there are two carbon atoms they are connected and it is connected to a double bonded oxygen and a hydrogen atom so that means one unit is again glyoxal and you can see all these three halves are identical so i can say three moles of glyoxal three moles of glyoxal is obtained clear so i hope it is clear for you today's concept on osmolysis we will come up with more questions on osmolysis in the coming days thank you